Hi guys, hope you're all well. Just uh, just getting last few bits ready that I need on my desk, and then yeah, we'll carry on with the uh, the A Team Alt Snaz wagon. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, guys, the video I did yesterday was the sound a bit uh, a bit weird. It didn't seem like it sounded as it normally does. I mean, that might be just be me because <laughs> I woke up with me runny nose again. I thought it had gone, but uh, but no, it's still there. Right, I think I'm ready to carry on and well, start putting some uh, some good old um, sprue panels onto this vehicle. I say apologies now, I may well be sniffing. Uh, I thought it had gone because <laughs> I hadn't sniffed or coughed for about three, four days. But uh, yeah, woke up this morning and my nose is just runny. So apologies now for any sniffing that may occur. All right, so yeah, I've, I've sorted out my figures as well. I'll be doing them in a minute. Um, so yeah, the, um, the vehicle. Obviously, if you're in stream yesterday, uh, you'd have seen me obviously put this together. And there's only a couple of things I've done off the stream. Oh, apologies guys, my nose is just itchy as well. Yeah, so obviously I put a couple of cross members along the top. Uh, there's a couple in the bottom. Plus, I also didn't like how wide this was. This, I mean, it wasn't big. Um, I probably took off about 10 millimeters. But yeah, I basically I cut the whole thing down the middle, took out 10 millimeters and then glued it back together. Because it was just a little bit too wide. Um, and it's one of those things that it would have bugged me. If I'd left it, it would have bugged me that it just looked too wide. So it's only about 10 millimeters I took out, but it was enough to obviously uh, warrant me doing it and spending the time cutting it and then trying to glue it. Because obviously gluing all the bits together and holding it was just oh, it was another little nightmare. But I've got it to the size that I like, uh, which is pretty cool. And obviously I cut out the bits for the, the side door. Because obviously the side door is going to be open. There's going to be another one of the 18 members hanging out uh, with a gun or something. I can't remember what I've given him. Oh, pardon me. Uh, but yeah, so this morning I've gone through I've gone through all my, uh, my orc bits box and I pulled out all the orcs I'm going to use, their weapons and the heads. Uh, that obviously just needs gluing together and then possibly a little bit of cutting here and there because I want to have two guys obviously hanging out the window. One guy's hanging out the back uh, where the slidey door is and then one guy is going to be strapped to the front with chains and bits and pieces. Because obviously I want to try and keep the vehicle looking like the 18 vehicle, so I'm not going to stick guns all over it or, or turrets or any of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I really want it to look like uh, the 18 bit. Right, I just get chat because I haven't got chat at the moment, so I can't see if there's anyone here. <laughs> if I am, just talking to myself, uh, which is what it kind of feels like I'm doing anyway. But um, yeah, um, Andy, good morning to you. Stephen, good morning. Aisha, up early. Good morning. Uh, you're not finished my van yet. Uh, Box Fox, yeah, good to have you here. Yeah, so I'm going to clad this in the sprue panels, um, sort out the, the chaps that are going to go on this. Um, and then so my plan is to pretty much get this kind of almost all done and then ready for painting. Uh, whether I'm going to be able to do that all in the live stream, I'm not sure. Because uh, as we know, I have good plans of getting everything done real quick. And then when I do a live stream, I end up waffling or... Well, things go a bit slower when I live stream. Right, let's just get some music in my ear. Otherwise it's just too quiet and obviously I can tell that it's just me in a room talking on my own. Right, where's the music? It was working a minute ago. <laughs> There we go. Got some music in my ear, so that feels a bit better. Because I always work, or I don't really, you can't really call this work. It's just having fun. <laughs> it's been a big kid building things. Um, yeah. Morning, Steve. I just sent you a, a WhatsApp message. Hope you uh, you got that, buddy. Uh, so, living gaming distracting me from sleep. <laughs> Who needs to sleep? Um, yeah, just stay awake. But uh, yeah, so I. Again, everything I'm doing, I'm going to be filming bits of it. Because obviously I'm going to be making the video of this. 
So if there's anything I've done that you've not seen, don't worry, the video will be out possibly... Um, it's it's going to be out at the weekend at the latest. I might try and get it out for like Friday, uh, but if not, weekend at the latest, and you'll be able to see all the, all the bits that you might see now that you haven't seen me do, like the panels. Uh, obviously panels made from sprue. So I did originally say I wasn't going to put them through the mangle thing I've got, but then some of these were quite puffy, and I didn't like that. So putting them through the mangle makes them all the same thickness and nice and even. It doesn't always get rid of the imperfections. Uh, right, the screen is rather bright. Let's go back a bit. Is that a bit better? Yeah. Um, yeah, so these are sprue panels. If you are new to the channel and you've not seen me make sprue panels, it's very simple. I get my sprues, I cut them up, put them in a jar of acetone. That turns them to the, uh, the ooey gooey sprue stuff, as I like to call it. You then get a. But, uh, oh. No, I haven't. Uh, two sheets of grease spoon paper. So you, you spoon out some of the ooey gooey stuff, put it onto one of the sheets of grease spoon paper, put the other grease spoon paper on the top, get your good old rolling pin, and I use one that's got these like height thingies at the end. And then you basically just roll it out. Uh, you leave it for a good seven, eight hours or more, and then they come out like panels. So some of these obviously I've cut, because I had to cut them so they'd fit inside. So I've got these like little windy mangles, so you put it through. It's got two rollers and basically it just sort of squishes it. Um, it was just because some of these panels were a bit thicker than others and for the ease of doing this it just made sense putting it through the mangle. Uh, you can adjust the mangle so it's got like, different thicknesses. So you start off nice and thick, put it through, then lower it, lower it, lower it, keep putting it through, keep winding it and then they come out nice and thin and they're all, well, all the same, <coughs> all the same thickness which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is made from sprue, nice and easy to cut. I mean, I, I cut these with a pair of scissors, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, so that's where we're at. So that, that bit was videoed. So when it comes to watching the video, you'll see all the process of all of that. Um, the other thing I've made is wheels. Um, so these, these wheels, these are made from sprues as well. Again, sp sprue goo. Um, and the good thing with the sprue goo is you can put it in moulds. So I've made a mould of tyres. Put the sprue goo in this. Obviously there's only so much definition that can come out. Um, I mean these were meant to have like little spiky bits on them. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera but those little holes you see, they're little spikes. As good as sprue goo is, it's obviously quite thick. It's like a thick porridge. So as much as you can push it, it won't go into all the little gaps which is why on the tyres, rather than it being spiky bits, it's like there's little holes going around. But it's not too bad. So the inside looks pretty cool, which is awesome. So yeah, these tyres are made from sprue. So everything on this is going to be made from sprue, apart from the, uh, apart from the figures. Uh, uh, Andy, what's that you, Waffle? <laughs> you clearly haven't been uh, on model making guru. Oh, okay. Does he? Uh, <laughs> does he like the chat as well? Does he? <laughs> because it's just so easy to go off at a tangent. Because honestly, it is, I'm sitting in a room on my own, chatting away. Uh, it just feels nuts. But um, uh, need a bigger back wheel. <laughs> uh, well, the thing is, though, the wheels I've got, I did have one that was a bit bigger, but it's almost too much bigger. And I say I'm I'm sticking with how the the 18 vehicle looks. So I'm I'm going sort of I'm going for accuracy here. Well, eyeballed. So I'm really pleased because this was all eyeballed and it's it's almost exactly the same size, which is pretty cool. No tape measure needed, just um, guesstimate, which is cool. And so I'll show you the figures in a minute because they're, they're all, well, they're not assembled, but I've kind of picked out bodies, uh, weapon layouts, and obviously if you were here yesterday, you would have seen the heads I'm going to use. I'm going to use some from uh, Cromlech. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, you've got the old boss one there, the old big cigar in his mouth. Uh, obviously this one's going to be Mr. Uh, Mr. T. The good old uh, Mohican haircut. So yeah, Mr. T is going to be painted blue and the rest are going to be green. Just so he stands out even more. Although I have found a nice big orc body for him. Um, obviously there's the other ones. Just because obviously Mr. T, well, he's rather large, wasn't he? So 
it's only right he should have a rather large body. Anyway, let's crack on. I'm not sure how much talking I'm going to do because say so my nose is going already, uh, and I'm sure my throat will start going. I say it's so weird. I really thought this cut. I've had this cold about four and a half weeks, and I, I really thought it was going, but no. This morning I've I've still got it. Uh, what's that? The, the tangents more than the tangent. The train of thought gets derailed before it leaves the platform. Yeah, <laughs> I think it does. Right. So, right. I've got, to think, got to remember as well. I need to film bits. So I can't just sort of like jump in and go. Some bits need to be filmed. That's right. No. Oh, I had one here a minute ago that I was going to use. Oh, was it that one? Hmm. So that was not too bad, kind of fits quite well. Yeah, so basically my first plan is to clad this in the uh, the sprue panels. Um, yeah, looks all right. This stuff is nice and easy to cut with uh, scissors, or you can use actually a scalpel, which is what I might as well actually use rather than just drawing the line. I might as well cut it with uh, with a scalpel. filming for that little bit just to say sometimes it's all well and good filming but sometimes the camera does not get in my way it's actually easier it is actually easier cutting uh, with the scissors For ease, sometimes when I'm filming, sometimes I need to do it a different way just to make it easier for filming. <clears throat> then the plan is this bit is going to slide in and be the floor of everything, just like that. filming so again apologies obviously I will be moving the camera around every now and then Comes the good old fun bit, gluing everything.
Right. And then the same as yesterday, let's sit and watch glue dry. Alright, let's stop the filming. Filming this bit. Gene, the progress is looking great. Cheers. Um, yeah, so it's one of those slow things. When you're using sprues and sprue goo, it's kind of a, a slow process. Um, but then it does start picking up momentum near the end once you've got all the bits sort of made ready just to, uh, well, just to assemble. Talk amongst yourselves while I just keep my fingers here, <laughs> waiting for this to glue. I say, yeah, good old super glue, but the cheap one that takes uh, 30 seconds to 60 seconds to really sort of uh, become super, or a split second to glue your fingers. So I was considering using the um, the old Tamiya cement stuff. Um, because obviously, because this is just sprues, it uh, it will glue it really well. But obviously, that takes a while to uh, to glue or adhere, or stick or work as well. Pardon me. So that's why I thought I used the super glue, but I may well use the Tamiya stuff if the super glue doesn't play ball. It's all just moving around, so a bit of a pain. All right, so I will keep doing that. Um... Yeah, good morning, anyone who's just joined. Um, you've joined just as I'm, well, watching or waiting for glue to dry. Uh, but obviously, I'm going to stick all the, the panels on the side of the vehicle now. Just do the one on the inside first, because obviously it's easier to get to the inside, well, when I haven't got the panels on the outside. So I'm going to do this one. I might actually do the other side, because I'm... Mm, I think it's just glued to the floor now. Um, obviously the side panel door, I'm going to have a sheet going across there, sheet going across there, just so I haven't got to do any inside bits, because obviously I want to have a guy hanging out. Um, I'm going to put like the old uh, footstep thing underneath it, because I'm going to have this one, so he's like inside but hanging out. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, so yes, he's going to be like leaning out, shooting his weapon. Um, right. Oh, man, he hasn't even uh, stuck anywhere. So sometimes this glue, sometimes this glue is like awesome. It, it'll stick things straight away. And then other times, when you want it to stick things straight away, it just doesn't want to know. That's that uh, Professor Kraftenstein, like the name. Uh, good day from Australia. Yeah, hello to you. Yep, so we're just uh, we're playing that waiting game of watching, um, well, slow super glue dry. And again, apologies, I will be sniffing. There's me saying yesterday my cold had gone. It seems like my cold has come back. Or oh, never went. I don't know. So I'm going to say, going to cut up and do the bits on the inside, just because it's easier to get, obviously, two bits on the inside. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the cabin, um, where obviously the driver and passenger go. Again, I don't have to do too much in there, but I need to do something in there, or even just like block areas out, I think. 
someone have some sort of like dashboard that they're hiding behind just because I don't have to do like the steering wheel and center console and and all that kind of stuff all right let's see any of these cut bits that might do Gonna be about the right height, which is good. Because I think is when I do obviously start putting the panels on the outside. If they don't meet up, that's fine. As in, if there's bits of gaps, that's fine. Because what I will do is once all the panels are on, let it all dry, and then I'll go over with my sprue goo and just use it as a filler. Because obviously that's another great thing with the sprue goo. It is a great filler. Because obviously it'll stick to, well, it sticks to whatever it touches. Uh, but especially obviously because it's, well, the same material. It'll stick to it and then it'll dry it exactly the same as this. And yeah, you can then sort of sand it down or do whatever it is you need to. Right, that's not far off. Let's take a little bit off the bottom, I think. As it's curved. Right. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's going to slide in nicely, and then it needs to. Oh, this is where. You know, this is where I, I used to have loads of marker pens. Um, give them to the kids. They use them. Never put them back. And now I haven't got a clue where they are. Because <laughs> uh, I need to cut this at an angle. But so this. Oh, I've got is a normal pen, but it's kind of like. Yeah, it's going to be kind of pants. Um, oh no, so let's, let's snip where it needs to go. It's about there, I guess. And whatever angle that is. Like that. Oh, not far off. Again, any little gaps will just get sprue glued fillers. Uh, usual thing guys if there's any questions you want to ask me obviously by all means do so but if you can in your comment put at miniature hobbyist just because on my screen then it highlights it in orange and then i obviously know that it's me you're talking to and not just chatting amongst yourselves all right that's not too bad so we'll, we'll go with that mm. we'll chop up from there Almost like it's made a measure. And we'll go across like that. Bosh. Right. Yeah, that kind of fits in nicely there. And will it fit on the other side? Because if it does, then I'm just going to make the same one. It's well, not perfect, but it's close. So, can we get another one out of this? No, not quite. So I've made quite a few panels, so I'm hoping, obviously, I've got enough to uh, to cover the whole thing. Because it, that's, that's where it's a pain. If you haven't, obviously, when you use the sprue goo, you roll it out, make your flat panel. These were done, these were done two, not last night, the night before. So these have had a, what, 36 hours or more to sort of dry. And they're still, they're not soft, but they're still flexible. Um, so it does take quite a while for the sprue goo to go back into being like, well, like a sprue. bad
Cool, that'll do. And let's see if the glue will dry this time. So this is where, again, I need my glasses. They're so pants, I can barely read. Uh, well, I can read things are close, but when they're like two feet away, <laughs> these, are, these aren't reading glasses. The, well, these are reading glasses. These glasses are great for painting, but seeing anything two feet further is, uh, yeah, is a pain. Uh, is that the Asquad wagon? Asquad wagon? Built by the finest process. Yeah, definitely the finest process. <laughs> it really... <laughs> yeah, no refunds. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, brought as seen. Um, yeah, no take backs. Right, let's just cut a little bit of this off. Uh, do the sheets sh shrink? Um, not so much shrink, but they can curl. Uh, like I say, th these sort of panels, I mean... <laughs> I, I can make panels a lot smoother than this, but it takes a bit more time. But because I'm building stuff for orcs, that's where I don't care if it is sort of um, crinkly. Uh, but yeah, so this sheet now, say so it's reasonably flat. If I put books on it and left it for like three, four days, I could take the books off and it would be flatter. But if you then left it for say two weeks, three weeks, you'd see all around the edges, basically you'd only get a centre bit that'd be flat. Everything else would start to curl. Like I say, because as it, um, it, the acetone evaporates more, because even though it feels like there's no acetone in it, because it's obviously perfectly dry, there obviously is still some in there. So over the weeks, the last little bit that's remaining evaporates, and you will get bits just curling up. But that's why, if you're doing something with a frame, and you make a frame and you glue it to the frame, then it can't curl, it just it stays as it is. Um, but yeah, flat sheets on their own will eventually curl. Even if they've been really good for like a week or so, you think, oh yeah, great, it's, it's going to stay flat. Come like week two, three, four, whatever it is, it will start to curl and then just look pants. So um, yeah, frameworks are the best. Stick it to a framework and then you know it, it's not going anywhere. Uh, that's the Asquad alt version of the A team. <laughs> right. I know, I'm going to have a go gluing this bit with the good old um, extra thin Tamilia what's it stuff just to see if this works any better. Let's, let's get a load on the bottom. I think what it is, because say it's 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 not cold, cold, but so I like to have a lot of fresh air when I'm working. So I've got a window literally over my shoulder is open, um, and there is obviously cold air coming in, and I think that does seem to affect the old super glue. Let's have a little go with uh, with that stuff. Uh, will Van get the slap chop? Um, probably, only because that's kind of how I'm now uh, priming and getting everything ready. So it probably will. Um, but obviously it's going to have, what is it? It's, it's like the grey, black and red. Um, but yeah, no, it, it will. If everything I paint now is getting slap chopped. Um, even if I do end up using some sort of like normal paints afterwards, I just like the priming in black, doing the dry brushing, and then just sort of going from there. Um, just because I know obviously it works so well. Plus I want to try and get hold of more contrast paints. 
Um, I mean, I've got quite a few, but there are still some colours that I've not got, or there's some colours that are pants. Like the uh, the Army Painter Speed Paints, um, on the whole, really, really good. Oh, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not me light off. <coughs> um, yeah, really, really good. The yellow <laughs> pants. The, I mean, as you can see, it's like a real dark colour in there. And this has been shaken so many times. Yeah, and it, it, it comes out orange. So, yeah, I've not got a yellow. Although someone did leave a message on one of my, uh, my videos saying that the, con the um, Citadel Contrast paint has got a yellow that is a yellow. So, yeah, I do want to get hold of more sort of contrast paints, whatever you want to call them. Um, just because, ideally, I would, uh, yeah, as much as I've got, like, I mean, if I have a little pan around, you can see I've got, like, a load of paints. Um, but I don't really use them that much. <laughs> but I've got tons. Uh, it's funny because someone put a comment on one of my videos. That I uh, I did a video where I think I, oh, it was my first Space Marine, uh, and the guy put a comment saying, "How can this be your first Space Marine when you've got so many paints?" And it's like, yeah, I'm very fortunate, and very lucky that people send me paints, as in companies. So that's why all of those paints. I mean, I think when I first started this channel, I think I may have bought like a dozen paints, um, and that's probably about it. So all the paints I've got now, I think I've got about 160 70 odd ish do or take uh, all sent to me but most of them I'd say a good 80 90 percent haven't even been opened uh, because obviously the ones I normally use are these ones over here which are the bottom two rows are all the um, army painter speed paints the next two rows are all washes so obviously I've got loads of those obviously green stuff world have sent me some of their stuff I have asked if they can send me the full amount uh, of their range so I, I like these. The green stuff, Dippin' World, uh, Dippin' Inks are, are good. Oh, well, when it comes to like the Citadel contrast paints, this is all I've got. <laughs> um, so yeah, I want to get more because I, I do like the Citadel contrast paints. Um, yeah, I think they. I don't want to say they're the best because they all have certain, some are good and some are not so good. Um, but yeah, I definitely need lighter, brighter colours. It's something I haven't got. Uh, so Gene Jordan, does it ever get brittle? Um, I'm gonna say no. Uh, unfortunately, I've only got I've only got one thing I've made from sprues on my desk. Just it's my favourite thing, and it's always here. Um, so I've got a Orc Stomper, which Steve is gonna be picking up sometime, well, soon. Um, and I made a battle wagon. And yeah, brittle, no. So this is made from sprues. Again, this, anyone new, this has got a frame, just like this. There's a frame in this. There was a video, obviously, of me making this. Um, and I made this, I don't know, a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Uh, not gone brittle. None of the bits are sort of like, it, I mean, it, it's solid. Obviously, it's solid but empty. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, this this hasn't gone brittle at all. Because uh, even these bits on the top, that's all um, sprues as well. So every well, this whole thing is sprue, apart from the paint. And yeah, no, not brittle at all. So none of these bits are coming loose, are going to break off. Um, yeah, because I mean, it, it, it does. It just turns back into being plastic. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I can say. Really, it's plastic, so don't eat it. <laughs> Even though I, say, I, I love this, this is one of my favourite things. It's so I, again, I used to say this a lot when I was doing more sprue videos. This is the favourite thing that I've ever built, ever made, um, and it's definitely one of the things that I would never ever give away, just because I think it's so random. It's not like nothing else I've ever built on this channel. Because obviously, most of the things I build on this channel are miniature things, whether dioramas or painting little miniature figures or, or building little things. Uh, yeah, to make a big sort of burger is very random. I am still going to make, and I say this every time, I am still going to make some fries to go with this and a milkshake. But I have been saying that for the past two years, so it's on my list. It's just not very high up on my to-do list. <laughs> but hey, I, I, yeah, there's lots of things on my list that I want to make, and yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so 
looks like Stephen Sharp. What we put? I have to get close. I can't read. Uh, once you have base coat, your black light dry brush. Um, master bottom half stripe and under heavy grey heavy grey dry brush top half. Then mask top to paint the stripe. Um, yeah, that sounds awesome. Probably not what I'm going to do. It sounds too involved with all the masking. <laughs> Plus, this is an orc vehicle. If there's a bit a bit of red going into a bit of black, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, no, masking obviously is the, a good way of doing it because then you will get nice, perfect straight lines. Um, as much as obviously I wear glasses, I have got steady hands. I can't always see what my hands are doing, <laughs> but they are steady. Um, so yeah, th this will be painted just by hand, no masking involved. A bit like how I built this thing, no tape measures involved. Just yeah, just eyeball. What can go wrong? Um, I'm saying your burger have I ever mould either? No, no. Well, I had considered turning the um, turning the burger into an orc vehicle, as in <laughs> making some wheels up, sticking wheels on it, cutting a bit in the top putting like some sort of turret or something in there with a little orc of a steering wheel and I'd considered doing that many times to the burger but never never did it right I need to remember to film how did this stick so yeah I think the um, cement stuff seems to be definitely as as good as the, uh, the other glue if not possibly better well better in the fact that it doesn't stick my hands to themselves which is always a bonus Uh, right, just glue this little bit and then we'll get ready to do some filming. Uh, well, to start putting some of the outsides on, I guess. So I, I do still want to do some sort of uh, little dashboard in here because otherwise, this is going to be like way too open. Um, yeah, so I'm not even going to bother doing seats because I mean, this is one of those projects where you could spend weeks and weeks and weeks doing every like little detail. Um, but no, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, yeah, because again, the same way I've done obviously the wheels, I could have a go at making seats out of plasticine, then making a mould of them and then casting them in, in sprue. Oh, pardon me, to make all the bits and pieces that go in the cabin. Um, but again, it's, it's a case of working out how much time to spend on something, how much money, uh, because obviously all, all this stuff isn't costing you anything other than glue. But obviously when I come to make moulds, this stuff obviously isn't the cheapest of stuff. Um, and yeah, again, it's a case of time because if I do a project and say I could spend weeks on this doing all the little intricate bits, I would probably get bored after a while. I, I love making things, but you have to sort of work out how much time you want to spend on something before it then becomes, it almost becomes work rather than fun. <laughs> If you try and do too much, um, I say I, I do this for fun. I, I really enjoy making stuff. So yeah, I keep things nice and simple. I right, just thought I've got to cut these little uh, little sections out where the wheels are going to go. So right, let's use these. It's enough waffling for a bit. Let's do some work. Well, not work, but fun. Right. Uh, can I get my blade in there without chopping a finger? Just checking my finger isn't where the blade's going to go. Although it's a bit tricky to cut it though. That wasn't too bad, still got my fingers. Well, oh, kind of helps when the blades in tight.
Yeah, so the wheels, obviously, uh, I've already checked that they, they fit all right, and they, uh, they go in there just right, which is obviously handy. Right, let's, I'm just going to go around and stick some of the cement glue bits. Like this bottom bit hasn't really uh, hasn't really stuck everywhere by the looks of it. All right, I'll do that. It's so a little nose. See what you guys have been chatting about while well, I've not been looking. Um, yeah, this is well. Yeah, I think in the next couple of weeks I am going to go and get my eyes retested and get some nice new glasses. Oh. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do, the front bit, I'm not going to do too much to at the moment. I'm just going to start sort of cladding, well, the, the bottom half I can do, and then around the back. Oh, that's not glued. Oh, I should use super glue again. Right, so let's get this ready, so I'm going to do some more filming. So I'm going to move the camera in a minute. Oh, the other thing, obviously, if anyone is new, uh, in regards to the sprue goo, like all these little bits that end up getting cut off, um, if they're a reasonable size, obviously, I keep them. But some of these smaller bits, I mean, for the moment, I'll keep them because I might use them as spikes and bits for this. But when this project's done, all these smaller bits, I'll probably end up throwing in the bin. Um, in the past, I have had a go at, well, turning these back into sprue goo. As in getting a new jar with uh, acetone in it, just putting in bits that have already been sprue gooed and then turned back into sort of, well, non sprue goo. You, whilst this does go back into being like a sprue goo, it's not as good. It's almost like it turns, so th this stuff, if I were to spoon this out now, it's like a very nice, thin, runny porridge. When you reuse stuff that you've made from sprue goo, it goes into a very, a bit of a lumpy porridge. So it's not smooth. There's bits that are still kind of like hard. We're talking like small bits, not big bits, but small bits. Um, yeah, so that's why, cause it was a, again, I'm trying to answer questions now that were asked quite a lot when I was doing lots of sprue builds. And one of them was, can you re, sort of, bits that you've used, can you put them in the acetone, turn them to sprue goo, and then reuse them again? And the answer is you can, obviously, but it won't be as nice or as smooth as it is the first time round. There's obviously something that happens to this stuff that when you try and dissolve it again, it doesn't dissolve perfectly, basically. Um, yeah. Just thought I'd mention that just in case someone was thinking, can you stick this back in the acetone and turn it into sprue goo again? And it's like, yeah, you can. Um, Am I going to make the license plates for that buggy, say, roadkill? <laughs> yeah, it could do. Um, yeah, hadn't really thought about that, but uh, yeah, roadkill or just dacker, something like that. Right. All right, this doesn't glued. Come on. So I, I want to get these indoor bits obviously done so they're in the right place. Because once I start cladding the thing, I'm not really going to be able to, um, well, get my hands in there to. Uh, to do much so we'll get this bit done because I mean the first thing I want to do is the, the bottom sort of line because I can cut the circles out <clears throat> where the wheels are going to go do that all the way round and then start doing the back bit and the top bit and I say the bits I'm not going to obviously put um, the panels on will be the open window and that window um, I might close that up a little bit but say it's going to have good old uh, Mr. T, kind of like hanging out, sort of like that. Um, but again, I'm going to do a bit of uh, bit of cutting with him because I want to move one arm so it looks like it's on a steering wheel. Plus, a lot of the uh, the orc bits box I've got, I've had bits in there for ages, so I don't know where this guy's arm is. But I have found another arm I kind of like that's quite big and chunky. But it means me obviously cutting that arm off and trying to put that arm on 
Um, and then there will be a bit of green stuff involved somewhere along the line. So again, I'm, my plan is to get all this done today. Won't all be in the live stream. Um, so I mean, in the live stream, I'm hoping to get this clad, <coughs> and then like sh possibly show you the figures that I've got so far. Um, but if not, you'll have to wait till it comes out. Or be a patron because I'll be posting pics later of what I get done today. Oh my nose! It's so bizarre. Well, yeah, it's, it's been five weeks now. Five weeks ago, I got a cold, um, and I'm still still sniffing. Not. So I haven't coughed for about four days. And that's why I really thought my cold was going or had gone. And it's like, no. Woke up this morning. Full on sniffles. Right, let's... <clears throat> um, yeah, that bit's not going to be long enough. Also, this is going to be in two halves, so... That bit might actually be... Yeah, so we'll try to use obviously the smaller cut-off bits first, rather than cutting into a nice, a nice big panel. Because the big panels will be good for obviously the top and that. So yes, yeah, so this will be all right for this. And again, any of that little gaps, I will just spool goo those later on. So let's have a little look. Where am I going to set this up? This is where I need to get another light, because obviously the light that I normally use on my desk, <clears throat> I'm kind of currently using to, well, highlight me. Although if I go in the dark, it's not going to be a bad thing. Right, so we'll have them ready, have the scissors ready. Yeah, so I really need to have like a felt tip pen. No idea where the kids put stuff. <laughs> they just disappear. It's like, they're, they're, it's like they're little magicians. You give them something, half hour later, poof, it's gone. <laughs> no one knows where. Uh, right. So let's start the filming. Because I can just show that I've put those two panels on the inside. And now we are going to have a go at paneling the outside. Again, every now it's kind of just been eyeballed. There's no real proper measurements. It's just, yeah, cut once and hope. Again, this I only kind of do this for orc stuff. If I was building something for someone else or a different kind of like faction, uh, then there would be a lot more measuring. I would have drawings with all the sizes on it. Um, because it's orcs, it can sometimes it can look better when things aren't uh, aren't as neat or precise as they should be. Well, that seems to be enough glue there. All right, and then a bit more um, watching glue dry. <clears throat> right, uh, is that Gene uh, 53 and an LED head magnifier? Yeah, I've looked into them sort of things. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I, that is something. Uh, right, stop filming. Um, yeah, because I, I bought, one of, <laughs> bought one of these thingies. Like the old, uh, ooh, old big magnifying glass with a light. And. Whilst it, it does work, obviously it helps well, illuminate the thing and make it look bigger. Who are, madam? I then felt like when I was, I felt like I was watching a screen rather than my hands. Um, and when I'm doing like behind this, it just felt, I don't know. I felt, I don't know how to explain it. It didn't feel like it was my hands that were there doing it. It's like I was watching TV and it was someone else. Um, even though you say it made things obviously look bigger and the light on it was perfect it just felt weird um yeah so that's why i had four but the uh, like i say the, the big well not big but the uh, the head thing with the glasses that popped down and the lights i had looked into the prices of them 
Oh, they're not too expensive. I mean, they're a little bit, but not too bad. Um, but yeah, after using the magnifying thing, I just felt like, would it, would it suit me? Um, and I'm not sure what the answer is. <laughs> right, here we go. So what I'll do is I'm going to do this all round, and then I can draw the circle and cut the circle out. Right, so let's put you back up here so you get a, a good view and I'm not in your way, you're not in my way. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, guys, if you are a patron, once a month, what I'm going to do is to say a lot of the things I'm building, like this, um, like this, and... Well, I'm not, I'll go and get the stuff, actually, just to make it easier to explain. I'm coming back, don't worry. Yeah, so one thing that I always do is kind of like run out of room. So what I've said is on my Patreon page, once a month, I'm going to do a giveaway. And that giveaway can be anything that I've made. Well, I'm basically going to list the things that obviously I'm happy to give away. Um, so this dude is one of the things that's, that's on the list. So is obviously the orc killing the, uh, the little dwarf dude. I haven't put the list on Patreon yet. This is what I will be putting on there. Um, well, this dude needs a bit of gluing because one of my kids, uh, well, had a little play with this dude and he kind of, kind of came apart. But that's fine. Won't take a lot to stick him back. Right. We'll do him in a minute. Um, yeah, the old, uh, the guy with the big machine gun. My little, my little portal orc. Lights up. Yeah, so basically what it is, is obviously I'm, a lot of stuff I make, I don't have room for. So it ends up just sort of sitting around the place. Um, obviously anything I make that I use, as in all the Kill Team stuff, that'll be staying. Uh, obviously the Orc Burger, never be going. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is once a month on my Patreon page, uh, I'll do like a little, well, I'll write something and then people just put their names below. So that's all you've got to do to enter it, is put your name or put a comment saying, hi, hello, whatever. Um, and then once a month, I'm going to do like a random draw, put the names in a hat, pick one out, and they get to win. Well, they're going to have the choice of what they win or what they want from the list that I put on there. So all these things are going to be up there. And when I do eventually build the, uh, the A-Team van, this will be up there as well. Um, just to say, there's a lot of things that I'm building that I, I'm never really going to use and they're just going to sit around doing nothing. So I may as well give them to people and they can sit on their desk <laughs> and do nothing. <laughs> but yeah, so as Andre was saying, I don't have many patrons. And the patrons I do have don't, I think, I think they, some of them have been patrons for like the last couple of years. So I think they've almost forgot that they are a patron. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so if you do want to win one of these, say it's simple, all you've got to do is, is put a comment <laughs> and, that, and that, that's it. <laughs> and then you... I'll pick one out of the hat and then you get to decide uh, what you want. Uh, it's, it's kind of as simple as that, really. <laughs> but yeah, poor Andre, he's the only one who's put a comment so far. Uh, he's getting concerned that he's going to win every month. Because um, the one thing with this as well, I can't afford to post things out. I know I'm a cheapskate, I can't help it. So if you do win, you've got to pay for the postage. I'll buy a box, bubble wrap, whatever, so it's all boxed up. You've just got to pay the postage. Um, and that's what Andre's concerned on. He's going to get one of these every month and he's got to pay the postage. <laughs> anyway, enough waffling. So but if you do want to win one of these, um, well, first of all, you've got to be a patron. And uh, second of all, you need to put a comment. <laughs> uh, right, so as I've got this, dude, I'm going to glue him back. <clears throat> uh, Gene, you agree about that type of magnifier? Uh, some of those circular ones too, but the jeweler style wool on your head seem to eliminate that effect. Yeah, so the, yeah, I, I might have a look. Um, but I say, initially, I just need new glasses. Um, so my my main glasses 
are the ones that are well the arms are broke off so many times I've re-glued them so many times but then the arm broke off the front and it won't re-glue plus these glasses are about seven years old I went for an eye test about three four years ago needed stronger glasses but couldn't afford them at the time um, whereas now it's, it's getting to a stage where say it's been seven years since I've had my eyes redone or new glasses for my eyes so I know I need, need new glasses so yeah new glasses plus say these ones when I'm painting these are great but these are literally anything one foot further is just as blurry as anything but when I'm painting things like this yeah it's perfectly in um, focus right I'm gonna put these to one side oh there's a, <laughs> there's a tank as well but that's obviously completely random to the orc stuff but it won't always be orcs obviously a lot of stuff I've been doing recently has been orcs <laughs> uh, but yeah so yeah if you want a chance of winning one of these um, become a patron and <laughs> and leave a comment uh. <clears throat> right, we'll put that over there we'll glue in properly in a moment <clears throat> Radio. let's get back to paneling this car <clears throat> um, yes yeah, so I filmed that little bit so what I'll do I'm going to do the other bits and then I'll film me just cutting out the, uh, the circle for the wheel <clears throat> yeah that, yeah just saying that uh, squiddy sailor I don't know what it is the mic was working fine I know I, I watched some of my videos that did yesterday or the live stream and yeah the quality of the the video was completely different to how it normally is and I'm not too sure why that is um, yeah let's have a quick look because yeah because must be when I when I watch it back it was like this doesn't sound <clears throat> doesn't sound how it normally sounds and I know my voice is a bit croaky but it's it's not my voice that's uh, messing up so let's have a quick look Yeah, I don't know why. Um, if I turn the volume down a little bit, that might might help. Perhaps it was hitting the uh, hitting the red. Let's turn it down a little bit more. Um, okay, yeah, how does that sound? Is that is that any less sort of? Well, because it wasn't even really tinny, was it? It was just it just sounded like poor quality. Um, but it's weird because my previous live streams, because I, I, I don't watch all of my live streams, but I do watch like little snippets just to make sure everything looks sounds okay. Um, yeah, and they were all okay. So you think it's fixed? Yeah, maybe. Again, I might have, somehow I might have just nudged one of my settings, and it just took it that little bit too far. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it seemed, yeah. Cause I must say, I, I listened to yesterday's one, and it just—it's like, why, why did no one complain, or did you complain? And I just didn't see it. Um, yeah, fing <coughs> fingers crossed that does sound better. Because I know to watch someone talk, and if the sound is bad, <laughs> it doesn't matter how good whatever they're doing is, you're going to turn off because it's just uh, well, it's gonna be annoying on the ears. All right. Anyway. I've been doing this for an hour and I've not done much. <laughs> Sounds about right. Right, let's um, let's start cladding. All right, so let's have a little look. That can be about there, about there. And we're just going to eyeball this. Good old ninety degrees. Snip here. Snip there. That's perfect. Dish. Right. <clears throat> oh, 
Fingers gone. Uh, Andy, check OBS settings. Apparently, it's having the habit of screwing around settings. Uh, what to make it sound like he was talking from a tin bucket. Do you use your phone? It sounds great. Hopefully, it's it's better now. Cause say hey, I think the setting was say it wasn't much, but I think every time I was talking, I was going into the yellow and then possibly into the red. And I don't know much about sound, cause say hey, I'm more of a visual person. Uh, but I know any setting that goes into red generally isn't good or isn't the place it needs to be. So yeah, hopefully you might have to turn the volume up because I've turned my uh, well my sound down, I guess. But yeah, fingers crossed, a lot easier. Uh, spec save was £29, cheap as chips. Yeah. Andy, I've done quite a bit in an hour. <laughs> You've been sarcastic. <laughs> well, I suppose for me, this seems quite good. I've, I've stuck some panels on. I've I've talked about sprue goo. Um, that's about it, really. <laughs> um, Alright, this one needs a longer one. Uh, yeah, because I want to do one all the way across. Uh, just to make it easier to cut it in one go. Let's have a look. I want to make sure I've got one for the top. Yeah, that one's for the top. So this one can be this long one. Uh, this will be a great vehicle for a unit of orc knobs named after 18 characters. Yeah, I don't. I don't no, I, I, should, I was going to show you the characters, but I'll show you them later. Um, but if, if you were here yesterday, you would have seen the heads I'm going to use, uh, and I think the heads are very, uh, very fitting for the A team people. All right, what am I doing? I'm going to glue this like that. I think that's a flatter edge. Although well, the other good thing, obviously, with these sprue panels, is if you are making something that's like round. Um, this stuff wraps around really well. So this is this has started to dry a bit too much to try and wrap really. I mean it might go around if I could like gently ease it, but it is getting to the stage now where if I did it too much it might crack. Uh, but when you first make these sprue panels, they are well they're soft and yeah you can manipulate them round to things and obviously you put it round something and then tie something round it to keep it in that position. When it dries and firms it will stay in well, the position it, it, it was it was wrapped in, which is pretty cool. So I say, it, yeah, sprue goo is pretty cool. <laughs> um, and they obviously a great way of reusing something rather than throwing throwing it away. Right, that's uh, that's not too bad. So any little gaps can be uh, can be filled. Right, shall I just cheat and glue this down and then cut it, or no? I think we'll uh, we'll cut first. do is we'll make this a nicer bit. Right, keep all the little bits together. I can say some of these bits I may still use, or especially some of these, these bits that aren't too too small. Um, because obviously I do want to have make this look like it's been taken over by orcs. So I want to do some sort of like panels, like little square panels just stuck here and there. Um, there will be some like spiky bits at the front probably. So I say for the moment I'm going to keep all these small bits. But then once this project's done, any of these small, small bits will just get put in the bin. I would end up with too much, well, too much rubbish, really. Alright, so that's looking good there. We'll say, because my pen's no good, we'll do a little clip to show where to cut it. And good old eyeball in a nice 90 degree angle. Gosh, look at that. Should be a okay. Uh, we do a clip there, and right there. All right. So I've got no. Let's <laughs> let's let's do a straight line because I think me trying to cut from one end to the other, it might go wibbly wobbly. So we'll. Uh, We'll score a line first, and then we can cut it. I know, I know, I'm using a ruler. Shouldn't use a ruler. Should just eyeball it. 
um, and it needs a roof hatch. Yeah, see, I, I had considered putting old Murdoch at the top, uh, like a machine gun turret. Um, and I thought, no, because I, I really don't want to change this vehicle too much. I want it to look like the A-Team vehicle, and the Yorks have literally just come along, jumped in, and driven off. I haven't done too much to it. So that's why my plan is to have uh, Mr. T, obviously this side, lean now. He's going to be driving. The boss guy, again, I, his name escapes me. He's going to be on this side. Um, and I have got one of these heads that's got a big old cigar in it. So he's going to be leaning out there. Murdoch is going to be chained to the front. And Face is the dude that's going to be leaning out the uh, the side hatch. What's it? Um, but yeah, I'd considered doing like a, a turret thing at the top. It's like, mm, no. Nah. <laughs> uh, right, what have I just done? I was going to cut this out. That's what I was going to do. I got this. Again, sometimes when I'm filming, I, I don't use everything I film, but it's always worth filming bits and having it just in case. Because again, if you are fairly new, obviously I film all these clips in, in as little clips. I put them into a package. I use Power Director, so a nice cheap package. Had it for 10 years or so. Um, and then obviously I do the voiceover at the very end. So that's why I have all the clips all put in place I go through, cut out little bits, well, at like the start and the stop of a lot of the clips. Then I do the voiceover, and that's why it's always worth filming extra bits. Because when I do the voiceover, sometimes I need to talk more about whatever it is I'm doing. And sometimes I'll talk and I don't need extra bits of footage because I've already finished saying what I need to say. Um, yeah, I'm waffling now anyway. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's why it's always worth filming extra bits, just so you've got them, even if you don't need them. So we will just film me cutting this. Again, just so in the video you'll probably hear me say something like, this stuff's great, because it's just so easy to cut with a pair of normal scissors. And that'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. There we go, a bit more watching glue dry. Yes, let me get guys, in any of my videos you watch, I generally somewhere at the end sort of say, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Um, and yes, it was someone who left a comment saying they wanted to see me make the A-Team fan. So yeah, I do, I can't make everything obviously people ask. But if you put something down and I'm like, oh wow, yeah, I like the idea of that, then yeah, I'll have a gut making it. So yeah, so don't forget to leave comments, guys, on my videos. Let me know what um, yeah, you, what you want to see me do or make. But so definitely my top things that get me excited. There's lots of things that get me excited. Um, but yeah, orcs. Anything to do with orcs, I love. Um, anything sort of Mad Max related, I love. Um, and anything from the 80s, I love. So yes, if you do a suggestion that involves one, two, or if not all of those ideas, there's a fair chance I will make it. <laughs> and I do like other things. I quite like the Space Marines, but I find them a bit, I don't know, not dull, because I love their armour and they look chunky. I think it's just because they are, well, obviously I've just painted loads for, my, for the, uh, the chest set that I'm making. They are quite a simple looking, obviously, colour. Whereas, obviously, orcs, I just, I just love orcs because they are, well, one, they're beefy. <laughs> they generally have their muscles out, which is always nice. And there's, there's generally more colour going on with the orcs. Um, and I think they're just more fun. They're just, yeah, just don't take anything serious, which is, which is nice because that's kind of, kind of me, I guess. 
I'm not really a serious sort of person. Rightio. It's getting there, it's taking shape, slowly but surely. Oh, look at that. Perfect. It needs to be glued in a bit. So the good thing is though, when this is all clad, any gaps, um, yeah, sprue goo is a great filler. And that will be used to fill it all. Uh, and then once it's all done, I may just go and give it like a, a light sanding everywhere, just to sort of tie it all in. Um, yeah, this is say this is a when someone mentioned the A team, it's like yeah, I like the idea of that. It's yeah, but again, sometimes I, I it's not like I run out of ideas. Um, but yeah, when you guys mention something, it then stirs something in my brain, and it's like yeah, I like the idea of that. <clears throat> this little bit to dry and then I can do a bit more in the back and then start covering in the rest I can't believe this cold still here madness right yes that will do for the back just to make it a bit Neat at the top. Hawkins, good morning from the US. Good morning to you, buddy. Hope you're well. What's that? Professor, the... Oh, I can't say it. The AI is a grot hiding under the bonnet. Well, so I was going to have a grot uh, chained to the front. But then I remembered I haven't got any grots. So <laughs> I couldn't chain one to the front. And that's why I'm having Murdoch. Um, chained to the front. Oh, again, apologies, my nose is just itchy and running and sniffing and snotty. Right, whilst it's drying, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the, uh, the figures that I've got so far for everything. Alright, so if you were here yesterday, you would have seen this Let's go low, let's get in tight, change the focus. I want to get about there. Yeah, so these are the heads that I'm going to use. Uh, so as you can see, obviously, again, yeah, still can't think of his name. Uh, there's, that's the captain, because obviously he's got the uh, nice big old cigarette, uh, um, stogie in his mouth. This one's going to be Murdoch, because obviously he likes to fry things. So he looks like he's the, the flyer with the glasses. This guy is going to be face, just because. <laughs> face. And then good old Mr. T with the old uh, Mohegan. So these are the heads that I'm using. And yeah, I, I would say they're, they're reasonably distinguishable as who they're meant to be. Uh, so I'm pleased about that. So Mr. T is going to be this body, just because obviously it's one of the biggest, chunkiest, muscliest ones I've got so yeah good old Mr. T's head on there plus these heads are generally a little bit bigger than normal orc heads these third party ones so it works well on that body um, so yeah that's going to be cool the only thing is though I've had this figure for so long um, obviously I've got like an orcs bits box I've got no idea where the arm is or what even the arm looked like so I'm going to chop his arm off and I've got this other arm that's fairly big and muscly so that's going to be on there so he's going to be leaning out the window i am going to chop this arm off just to rearrange it a little bit because i want it to look like his hand is on like the steering wheel 
So that's Mr. T. Um, who was I using? Oh, this was just a, a generic general body. But this one's going to be uh, the boss man. Just because it's, it's very chunky. Um, and I've got the arms for him. I think it's that one and this one. Again, he's going to be leaning out the other window. And I've got a good old pointy finger. Um, I've no idea what figure this has come off. Because most of the orc hands, arms I've got all have guns in. Uh, but this one, he's not very muscly. But there we go. But he's got a pointy finger. So he's going to be leaning out the window, pointing as though he's like pointing to where they're going to go. And then he's just going to have a, a gun in the, the other arm. Uh, then I've got Murdoch, who's going to be... Which one was he? He's going to be, that one up. Um, he's going to be strapped to the front. So I say he's going to be that centre head, just because he looks like he's uh, obviously a pilot. So again, he's just got a fairly plain body. Um, where this arm's come from, I've no idea. Because again, most of the arms that I've got for Orcs, they all have a gun, uh, or a huge big gun, or a machete. So this guy's got a, well, a pipe. So I'm not sure where it's come from, but I like the look of it. Um, yeah, got no idea where that's come from. So he's going to have that in one arm. And obviously a gun in the other. And so yeah, I've got some uh, small like chains. So he's going to be chained to the front of the vehicle. And then the last one, old face. So I so say he's going to have that end, the end head. Uh, again, just a, a general body. Is this going to be his one? Oh no, this one's going to be, oh, mix them up. Yeah, this one's going to be um, Murdoch strapped to the front. Just because, again, the outfit looks like it could be a, um, a pilot's one. Ah, yeah, so this one, let's put them together. This one's going to be Murdoch. Um, so he's going to have, well, he's going to have a chain. Just because I, I wanted to mix it up. I didn't want them to have, like, all just have guns. So that's why I'm sort of mixing up. So he's going to be leaning out the, um, out the side door at the back. So he's going to be leaning out of here. And he's going to have the chain in one hand. <clears throat> and again, I've got this, well, obviously it's one of those, like, part, part arm hands that should have had, like, a big gun. But I wanted to have that. I want it to look like he's kind of like holding on on the inside so he's leaning out but holding on and there you go so that's the the figures that i'm using and their heads and yeah i think they should look um kind of representative of the figures they're meant to be so they're all going to be green apart from uh ba um mr t i'm going to paint him blue i think again just so he's completely different oh yeah uh, excuse me for a second my phone uh, door's just gone i've got a delivery Sorry about that guys. Oh just got a little delivery, a little parcel. Not too sure what it is, but it's always fun when I get stuff. Right, what are in my glasses? Okie cokey, who's taking my glasses? Right, I got up, I ran over there. Throw them on the floor, that's what I did with them. Oh, right, yeah. Right, I did see something orange there. It's also Andy. Uh, am I going to make. Am I going to get over the panels with uh, poly cement to make it welded together? Um, how do I go over the panels to make it welded together? 
No. Knows the answer to that one. Uh, what I might do, um, so I'm going to do like little square panels just sort of all over the place. Not over, I'm going to do like two or three, just to make it look like the orcs have obviously had to patch stuff up. Um, and then what I do with those is do like little rivets on the things. Sorry, so to run down the stairs. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna orcify this as much as I possibly could, just because I really want it to look more like the A team um, than anything else. Because normally whenever I make orc vehicles, I like to rust them up as well, make them look really sort of beaten, haggard, and just generally yeah, fall into bits. But so in this case, I really want it to look like it's the A team van. The orcs have come along. Stuck a couple of little patches here and there. Um, gonna be some spiky bits on the front probably, but that, that's kind of gonna be it. I really want it to sort of stay sort of true to how the 18 van kind of looked. Um, yeah, hope that answers that one. Uh, right, let's scroll back down because I have to scroll back up. Andy, open it. <laughs> I could do because it's it shouldn't be anything that I can't open on screen. <laughs> As in, it's not going to be anything naughty. Um, but this, so this is the great thing that I I, I love about this channel. Um, I'm trying to hide my address. Um, yeah, there are companies that approach me uh, want to send me stuff, um, and generally I say yes. There are a few companies that have approached me and they want to send me stuff. But it's like nothing related to what I do. And as much as I love free stuff, it's not worth getting stuff that I can't even use in any of my videos. So yeah, I've, I've had some quite random, like clothing companies. Uh, one of them sent me a um, like the old baseball cap with their logo and bits on. It's like, how? <laughs> well, what gets me is every video, uh, sorry, every email, you can tell when they're just generic emails. Because they always sort of say, "Oh yeah, we've been following your channel, and we love your content." And it's always it's always very vague. It's, it never relates to a particular video or a particular style of what I'm doing. So instantly you can tell it's just a generic email they send to everyone. Um, but yeah, then they come out and say, "Oh yeah, we think you'd be really you'd fit really well for what we want you to advertise." It's like, okay. And then they say it's hats or clothing, and it's like, well, <laughs> they, they obviously don't watch any of my videos because they haven't got a clue what I do. Um, so yeah, so sometimes I, I do decline free stuff just because it's just it's just so random. Um, and yeah, um, yeah, go on. Let's, let's open this up. So I've got an idea what I think this could be because of its size. Because I'm expecting some things from some companies, but they wouldn't fit in a box this size. <laughs> um, so my guess, oh, look, hey guys, have a little guess. What do you think? Is in the box. <laughs> Open the box, take the money. Open the box, take the money. Uh, Red Fox Lady, good morning to you. I hope you are well. Um, yeah, guys, I will open this, but I want to I see some comments from you guys what you think is in this. Um, I say, does it say where it's from? Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, I do know I do now know what's in this. Um it's it's kind of what I thought was in it to be honest, because of the size. I say there's a few things that I am expecting, I don't know when. That, that's that reason that, <laughs> I, I love the fact that I have this channel because I'll say I started this during one of the lockdowns to keep myself busy. It's grown and I love where it's at now because say people do send me free stuff and I don't always know what it is or when I'm gonna get it. So when I, when there is a knock on the door things turn up and so this is where i'm a big kid it feels like it's christmas it's like oh oh what's what's turned up today it doesn't happen like every day or every week but sometimes when it does it's like oh yeah what's 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 coming along um right well no one's really uh, no one's really saying what they think is in the box maybe i won't open the box it's going to tease you do you like the box yeah we're gonna put the box to one side yeah if you're not going to play along and guess i'm not opening the box it's my football, I'm taking it, I'm going home. Right. Uh 
Right, paneling. Let's get back to some paneling. Um, I'll do the top one next, actually. Yeah, because the top one, all these other ones can like go up and butt up to it. And I think that one's going to be alright for the. Yeah. Cool. Although, what are the other ones I've got? Yeah. Yeah. So at least I should have enough panels. Because always the concern when I do sort of make something is making sure I've got enough panels. Because say the one thing you don't want to do is start like putting it all together and then find you've run out because then you have to get the sprue goo, roll out panels, and then basically wait till the next day. So yeah, trying to get everything ready so you can just like crack on. Um, it does take a bit more forethought when you're doing sprue goos. A uh, new pair of glasses, Andre. I wish it was. <laughs> I say I, I am definitely going to go because it, it's getting silly now. I say the fact that me other glasses that I normally wear all the time are broke and just don't stay on my nose. Um, yeah, plus it's obviously it's not good for my eyes either. Really, when wearing the wrong glasses <laughs> can't be good for you. Radio. Uh, yeah, let's, let's have a little looky. Uh, where this is going to go again? Good old bit of. Eyeballing, using this. And let's do another nice 90 degree angle ish. Perfecto. Right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hobbies. I've bought the box of Orc War Bikes. Ah, oh, cool. Uh, you're going to call the gang Slap Choppers. Ah, oh, that's awesome, Red Fox. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because, say, where is he? Where's that in here? Right, I need, a, I need to glue the chat back because uh, my, my kids were playing with him and he kind of um, lost his body. Let's have a go at gluing them again. Yeah, the bikes. I, I love the look of these bikes. Again, it's, it's just so Mad Max type. Um, and yeah, obviously, yeah, this dude was slap chopped and and came out good. So I think if you're a painter like me, not a good one. Uh, the slap chop method is definitely definitely the way to go. Right, let's just hold him there. But yeah, say so I, I, Mad Max. I just love I love the look and feel and style of sort of Mad Max stuff. Uh, which is why, yeah, these bikes are just awesome for that. Right, can I let go? Yes, I can let go. Yes, I mean, he just looks... He's just wicked, isn't he? So, say, this this guy is up for grabs, guys. If you are a patron, um, don't forget to leave comments. Um, yeah, say, once a month, I'm going to do a giveaway. If you win, you get a choice of, well, lots of the stuff that I've, I've kind of made, built, or, or whatever. Scratch built, kit bashed. Right, we'll glue him back there. Let's say the 18 van is definitely going to be one of the ones that you can win. Um, yeah, it's like otherwise I have too much stuff and I just don't have enough room for it all. All my kids end up playing with things and then break them and they go in a bin anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. I'd much rather one of my patrons um, had it. Um, and it's an exploding spring. You open it and boing, it's a carrot in a box. <laughs> Sean Lock of 8 out of 10 carrots. Yeah, carrot. I still love that. 8 out of 10 carrots. Uh, Andy, it's a watch. It's it's to do with the channel and something I'm going to... I'm going to paint. Go on then. Let's open the box. Just because I want to see what it looks like. All this excitement, you'll be like, no. Let's try and pull these out without putting all the mess out. Basically, I know it's, it's two figures. Is there anything else in there? 
and it's from Broken Anvil Miniatures. Quite a cool sticker. Uh, just checking there's nothing else in there. No. Kids will love that stuff though. Yeah, so Broken Anvil Miniatures um, obviously do like 3D prints and stuff, but they also sell uh, physical items. Uh, that's what these these are. Uh, they sent me a couple of miniatures to, to paint. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep them hidden for the moment. So I think they need assembling, the looks of it. Hmm. We'll have a good old look at those later. So yeah, Broken Anvil Miniatures. Nice little sticker. That's a nice sticker. Anyway, let's get back to the 18 thing. Just the time. With them. Yeah, because I'm only going to go... Well, about 12 is what I was going to go to. <clears throat> yeah, so because two hours of live streams are... Seems like a good number. Any more than that, I start going a bit doolally because I can't need food. Right, what was I doing? I was doing the top, wasn't I? The top bit. I was going to cut, so that's it. I lost my train of thought completely. Um... And it's a longer cut, we'll score it just so I can see where I need to cut. So you can cut this with obviously a scalpel, you just gotta go through a few times. Uh whereas obviously good old scissors. It looks like a bit of a weird angle, is that right? Oh, I guess so. Um yeah, cut with scissors. So much easier. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. Let's move that over there so you can actually see what I'm doing. But usual thing. I'm just holding something and watching glue dry. Start going do lally. It is. I just yeah. But again, it's because <laughs> again, if you knew me in real life, I'm not a big talker. Um, I generally only talk when required or when I have something to say, which generally isn't that often. Um, but obviously in the live streams, I somehow <laughs> it's like I don't talk for like months and months, and then in a live stream, I can just talk. It's like I make up for not talking. Um, but yeah, so after a couple of hours of talking to myself, basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting sitting in my living room at my desk, <laughs> talking to myself. So yeah, after a few hours, uh, yeah, I think the lack of food and the constant talking does make me go a bit, uh, a bit, a bit weird. And yes, so you, the waffle gets weirder and there'll be less work. Um, but... Uh, What's that? What, what vehicle of thought did English speakers lose before the invention of trains? What vehicle of thought? I don't know, I'm, I'm confused there. When do we lose trains? See, again, this is where my brain's my brain kind of starts switching off. I think parts of it that sort of shut down. I think, nah, not today. I've had enough. I'm gonna go nine nights. All right. Cool. All right, let's get some. So yeah, so I think what I might do is say get the back panel on, side panel, this panel, and then I think I might call it quits. Um, just because I've got a few things to do, um, and obviously the school run will soon be here. Oh, pardon me. So let's start here. Seems a good enough place. Nice straight edge there. Let's cut there. So, if I had my felt tip pen, I would be using that to mark things. But say, the kids seem to have uh, hidden all felt tip pens. So, we'll do that. Right, that's actually going off at an angle. Like that. Let's 
Right. How's the eyeballing going? Ah, oh, look at that. Eyeball for the win. And the other good thing is, obviously there's a bit of a, a gap at the top. Once this is all glued together, I'll probably go around with a scalpel, cutting away any sort of like little excess bits. And then any bits where there's a gap, I will just, like this bit here, I can just fill in with a good old bit of um, bit of sprue goo. And again, once it's all completely dried, I might go over and give it a very, very quick light sand just to sort of like tie it all in together um, and just help key it for when it gets uh, gets painted, uh, which would be cool. Uh, Mana, hello, how are you? Um, yeah, you've kind of caught me near the end of the stream. I'm going to go for about another, another half hour, but I hope you are well. Um, I love the build. Cool. Uh, good to see the sprue goo coming back. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I've sprue gooed. I think the, the problem with the sprue goo is, obviously now I'm getting into min painting miniatures. Painting miniatures is so much nicer and easier because obviously I get the miniature, I get the paint, job done. With sprue goo, there's a lot more forethought, um, as in obviously trying to make the sprue goo, then rolling panels out. Um, obviously these, I've made the wheels, so I had to make a mould and then do the wheels. There's a lot more, yeah, there's a lot more planning in making things with sprue goo, um, and I kind of prefer just to grab stuff and crack on sometimes. <laughs> um, but then when I do do like a sprue build, I do kind of enjoy it once. Like now, once it starts to take take shape, and I've got all the bits and pieces, then yeah, it's it's all good. All right, so let's let's hold here again. Get a little bit of uh, watching glue dry. Can't beat it. Or stick fingers. So what's it? So half. Yeah, 20 to 12. So yeah, about 12 o'clock I'll, uh, I'll be done because I've got a few things I need to do. there after a bit of trimming let's guesstimate an angle like that what that'll do So once the bits are all on, then I can just go around, trim bits here, fill bits there. <clears throat> oh. 
is where the good old glue's just taking too long to set. Let's hold them both and hope I don't get my fingers stuck too much. <clears throat> Yeah, so by the end of today, so obviously not in the stream, but at the end of today, the van should be all done. Uh, the figures should be all assembled. Um, so I might, I might do a live stream tomorrow of me painting it. Um, not sure, depends on what I've got on. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a reasonably fair chance I will do another live stream tomorrow where I will paint this. and then I'm gonna finish off. Right, can that one, yeah, that'll do. I so say with the other uh, windows, they are rather large, um, but I wanna get the figures assembled, see how they're gonna like look sort of leaning out. Uh, the inside of this, I think I'm literally just gonna have like a bit of a, a dashboard sort of thing on the inside. Um, but yeah, so I'm not really going to do too much detail inside the cabin bit there, just because, let's say, it's, it's one of those projects you, you could spend weeks on doing all the little intricate detailed bits. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to have these guys, they're almost going to be like they're standing, leaning out. Yeah, I'm going to um, obviously need to cut the wheel arch bits out on that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to leave it there, guys. So I've got <laughs> I've got a little bit done in what two hours? Oh no, it's about that. Yeah, yeah, about ten when I started. Um, yeah, <laughs> but no, I'm pleased with how, how it's coming on. Um, so it is definitely more van-like now. What it will do once I get the uh, the little wheel arches cut out. Um, oh, itchy nose. But yeah. Oh, guys. All right, cheers for being there, guys. Really enjoyed, obviously, your company, and I didn't didn't ignore you or forget about you this time. <laughs> so I hope you guys all have a good day in whatever you're doing, or good night, or good morning, or, again, yeah, whatever it is where you are in the world. I am going to click on that one and say, yeah, goodbye, guys. Um, say, there's a good chance I will do a live stream tomorrow, and I'll be painting this bad boy, which should be quite cool. Okay, guys, you all take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.